Commissioner Vasquez, uh, Commissioner Whaley, and Commissioner Sanchez, we have a quorum. Uh, we've got a minute before the public hearing, so we'll go straight into it. Uh, for the, for, to the agenda item, for discussion of possible action to recommend approval or disapproval to Commissioner's Court on granting power for a metal shed located at 115 uh, Magnum Road, Devil Shore, uh, Block N, uh, Lot 7. So is this what the public hearing is on? It's enough to be what? Okay. Public hearing is for six. Yes. So item four, and I'm just going to be real specific here. If you'll tell me, uh, ask a question. Can we take action on this one? And there's no public hearing on on item four. Yes. Yes. yes what? We can take action. Okay. On That'll work. So floor is yours. Good morning, Judge. Good morning, Commissioners. The owners of, of this property is uh, Susan K. Fisher. Uh, she's for the Devil Shore Block N Lot 7 with a total size property 0.32 acres. Uh, when she got the, the property in back in 2021 by a gifted, there was already a main house already served with a septic, already served with a community system, and then she's requesting uh, a second meter on another on another structure that was already built with what the meter loop installed but not connected. Uh, normally, we'll, we don't allow second meters, uh, and we will recommend a replatting on this property, but the size of the property is too, too small. So we're bringing this to your attention. Uh, we normally don't allow second meters unless it's approved by, by, by the court. In this case, I'm a staff. Uh, typically, they, they've been signing an affidavit that are not going not gonna to be living there, and it's just for both storage. And, and we've never uh, we've never approved one like this before. Is it the first time? No, we we have like a couple of them, like in the last eight years maybe. Like whenever the distance is too too far away, and they're less than ten acres. This one, it's it's kind of close. It can be connected to the meter that they have already, and it's to be running another type of ticker wire. But uh, she wanted for this to be presented. I don't want to. I don't want to say no to the bill. But is there an affidavit that we can fill out? So yeah, they, they can fill an affidavit that they're not going to convert that into a living quarter. And that's enforceable at any time. The affidavit that they we'd have to go through a legal process, uh, take it to the county attorney's office, and then he'd have to file on her. Uh, but we could disconnect power mm -hmm. what could if that's the, if that's the if that's the action that if needs to be taken. If they decide to convert. From and a boat storage to, to a residence. To a resident. Yes. We could know, disconnect like, the power. Like a mother in law house or something yes. like that. Yeah. yeah. The power could be disconnected legally. I, I will make a motion to approve this item as long as the uh, affidavit is filled out and then later on we find out their violation will enforce the rules. I second that. Okay. Any other discussion? I have a motion, Commissioner Vasquez. Second, Commissioner Whaley. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody against? Motion carries 3-0. We'll move into the public hearing. The purpose of this hearing is to allow the public to comment either for or against granting power to a non-conforming use metal RV storage building located at Lake Ridge Ranch, Phase 7, Lot 506, 190 Buenos Aires Drive. Uh, public hearing is now open. Do we have anybody in favor or against that would like to speak on this issue? Sir, you're sitting here, so. I'm the apartment owner. I guess I can speak for it. Okay. If you want to speak for it or against, if you if you if you'd like to, come up here to the podium, sir. I thought my builder was going to be here today to handle this for me, but he's in San Antonio. He just texted me, so. Uh, I'm Jeff Davidson. Good morning. Apologize for my attire. I'll, I'll do better next time. I promise. But uh, so uh, we own a home in Lake Ridge Ranch at uh, 148 Buenos Aires, Lot 505. I think that one is. It's 2.9 acres. We had Rough Canyon Builders build us a home there. We moved in about a year and a half ago, uh, a little under two years ago. Uh, maybe last year we purchased the lot next door. The adjacent lot is 1.7 acres, I believe, at 506, lot 506 at 190 Buenos Aires. So in May, we purchased a motor home. And I didn't want to park it in my driveway and have my neighbors look at it. So I was trying to do the right thing and cover it and protect it. 
So we hired the builder, the same builder that built our home, to construct a, a barn for us. It's got two bay doors. Uh, it's 36 by 45 or something. There's no living quarters in it and never intended to be. But uh, contracting with him to build it for us and you know, assumed that everything was going to be taken care of properly. We got the building finished probably uh, uh, August or September, several months ago. And then we had no driveway. We kind of had piles of uh, a fill all around the building. It's still dirt. We, we can't do any landscaping and concrete because we don't have power. So I reached out to AEP and had them uh, get that initialized for us to run the power from the pole to the building. We have like a 30 amp connection inside for our motor home to be like fully enclosed and the doors closed and all that. And uh, so the, the power equipment or circuit, I guess, is on the wall, but there's no meter. So obviously we can't have electricity and, and I have security cameras and floodlights and stuff, but I don't have any power for them. And I had learned through your meeting, I guess it was the zoning meeting a month ago, I watched that video and uh, I guess the things maybe weren't taken care of properly to, to get everything you know approved or permitted properly. I'm just assuming because I really didn't have those specific discussions with my builder, I just assumed I'm going to write the checks and everything's going to be taken care of properly. So we, we learned that we didn't have the, pri the appropriate permit and so uh, in that meeting in October it was established that there's a special permit approval process and that's what we're asking for today is approval to connect the power so that we can uh, finish completion and have our driveway and landscaping and make it look nice and uh, we don't have any commercial intent. I'm not going to run an oil chain shop out of there or anything. No living quarters. I don't have a bathroom in there. But uh, I can do whatever I'll need to do to, to get the power approved. But we're at standstill right now because uh, I can't do a lot of the finish out steps with no power. So that's what I'm requesting today. Okay. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. Do you have any questions, Brent? No. I'll make a motion to approve this. Okay. Well, let's get done with the public hearing okay. first. Uh, and then we can go on to the item. I see some pictures there, Commissioner. Oh, okay. But, but, but those are what? That's a first one. Okay, you need to explain that better. This is the second one. This is the one we're talking about right here. I'm going to, if you're done? Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to close the public hearing, then we can go down, go to the item, and then we'll go back to item three after we get done with item six. Uh, at this time, it is 1022. We're going to close the public hearing. We had one individual that was the actual owner speak in favor of, and we had nobody speak against it. Uh, now we'll go to item uh, six for discussion of possible action to recommend approval or disapproval to the commissioner's court on granting power to a non-conforming used metal RV storage building located at 190 uh, Buenos Aires Lake Ridge uh, Ranch Phase 5. Lot 506. Okay. Anybody have questions? Yeah, Commissioner, uh, Commissioner Sanchez, you had a, you started to say something? No, no, I, I just uh, wanted yeah. to see these pictures here. Yes, uh, uh, basically, it is pretty far away from the, from the residence. And, and, and it's sitting it. on, a, on an individual lot, so it, it's not the same property. It's, 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 a, different, lot. it's a different, different lot. Okay. Um, I've already uh, looked at it just so I'll make a motion to approve item number six. I have a motion, Commissioner Vasquez, second. I'll second it. Commissioner Sanchez. Any other discussion? I've got to sustain because uh, I know the builder and I've worked on that property. Okay. And uh, we do have a quorum, even with pers one person abstaining, the votes, the two votes, if that's the way it's voted, will carry. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, two people for, Commissioner Vasquez, Commissioner Sanchez, and Commissioner Whaley abstained. Uh, motion carries. Uh, and if you'll get with uh, Carlos to see what else needs to be done, if anything, and, and y'all can move forward. Um, I skipped uh, item three, approval of previous minutes. Motion to approve, yes. I have a motion, Commissioner Vasquez. Second. Second, Commissioner Whaley. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. That motion carries 3 0. Uh, item 7, uh, Commissioner's comments? None? No. 
We're good. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn on item eight. So moved. A motion, yes. Commissioner Sanchez. Second, Commissioner Whaley. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, anybody against? Motion carries 3-0. Thank you all so much for coming. Appreciate it.